Hello, my beautiful bee fam. How are you? Well, I want to let you guys know that I am going to do another uh, Oracle card reading. Um, I decided to do another reading because I felt inspired to do another reading. And maybe some of you need a little bit more information. Uh, maybe this will accompany or augment the information that you got from my reading today. And for others of you, this may be a completely different reading for you. The other reason why I'm doing another reading and, you know, giving a shout out to the BFAM out there is because I just had a reading with a very lovely person. This person is in a beautiful, loving relationship, and they're trying to have children. And I want to uh, put out a call to action. And if any of you would be so kind to offer... Um, a prayer of fertility, abundance, joy, happiness, childlike energy uh, to this particular couple, I would truly appreciate it. In fact, we can send that energy to all couples who are trying to have children to assist them with an energetic flow of prayer and movement so that they can enjoy the, um, the love, the the joy, the pain, the anguish, the uh, roller coaster ride that is parenthood itself. So, if you could please offer a prayer of fertility, joy, childlike joy, fun, and abundance to these couples in the world that are trying to have children, hopefully, we can help them out energetically. All right. So, we're going to get right into this second reading. This will be pretty quick. I mean, look at this. Victory and caring connections. What a beautiful, beautiful energy. Let's send this energy to all the couples out there that are having a hard time giving birth to kids who really, really want children. All right. Let's go here. Let's go. What have we got? What are the energies? What are the energies? For the second reading for this RD with B, which is timeless. And I'm just going to leave it timeless. So whenever you come to it, it'll make sense for you. Alrighty, everyone, put your energy into the deck. Cutting the deck. The first card is the woman holding a coin. The second card is the second chakra, Archangel Ariel. And the third card is hostilities. So there is some sort of defensive energy relative to nurturing and caring for something or someone. There is a level of hostility here and defensiveness. And this may possibly mean that this person is defending the nurturing, the mother energy, the matriarch, and being able to be stable and comfortable and successful in a business using one's intuition. This could be a Capricorn, a Taurus, or a Virgo person trying to nurture a situation. The second chakra, Archangel Ariel, is all about the sacral chakra. It is the mother chakra. It is the seat of creation. This is a 42, which is a six, which is the lover's energy. This is a 36, which breaks down to a nine, which is the hermit energy. And this is a 26 that breaks down to an eight, which is... <laughs> now I can't remember. I'm just going to say the seat of power. Self-empowerment. Powerful energies. I really feel that someone is defending this type of energy in their life. They don't want this energy to go. They will guard it with everything that they have. Definitely. Definitely. So what is... The message using the witch's tarot.
message using the witch's tarot. Someone might be very hostile towards the mother energy, mothers, or mothers may have had enough. Um, to be honest with you, just get on YouTube and look at how these mothers are reacting to the way that their children are acting as it relates to these protests. Oh boy. For those of you in the IR, I'll share a bunch of videos with you. All right. Yeah, because somebody's defending their value as a mother. What is it that um, Bill Cosby said one time? And he had a skit. He was a good comedian. I don't know about person, but he was a good comedian. And um, he said, he was talking about his, his dad or his mom. And they were talking to him when he was a child. And they said, I brought you into this world. I can take you out. <laughs> All right, let's see what we've got going on for the energy using the witch's tarot, and then I got to get going. All right, cutting the deck. The Nine of Cups, the Three of Pentacles. Oh, and karma. Okay, I am telling you what, everyone, seriously, something's going on here. What an amazing reading. Wishes granted. A wish is granted. A wish is being granted to a Capricorn, Taurus, or a Virgo, or a mother. Okay? I mean, I can't make this stuff up, guys. It's going to take hard work. Someone worked really hard at being a mother. Someone um, is trying to nurture a situation. There might be some sort of news coming out regarding the laboratory chemicals, medications or something that affect motherhood. The thing about it is, look at this, hostilities and karma. Whoever is being hostile, whoever is being negative, whoever is causing dysfunction and aggression in a situation is about to get their karma. And this has something to do with an eclipse. Maybe at the next eclipse is when this karma is going to come out. Remember what I say about the three pentacles in the witch's tarot. That cat has been drinking the Kool-Aid. And the scientist is sitting here and saying, let me think for a minute. How can I keep this cat entranced so this cat does what I say they need to do? I think all of you know exactly where I'm going with this. And there's some sort of weird flame, fire, flame something here. Do you see that? I've never seen that before. That yellow smoke flame. Do you see that coming off of that candle? What is that? It's like some sort of gas. There might be a scientist out there that's specifically working with gaseous materials, but, um, ah, gastronomy. There we go. Yep. Somebody might be working with gastronomy for uh, entertainment. Absolutely. But someone is about to be released from their karma or they are looking at the hostilities and saying it is time for you to receive the karma. People just want to be nurtured. They want peace. They want to be successful. They want to be happy. They want to win. They want to enjoy company with family. They want to study. They want to produce. They want to move forward in life. But this has been stopping them. And now they say enough is enough. All of this hostility that we have been holding for you, we give it back to you for you to be able to deal with because we will no longer hold on to your negative energy for you. Okay. All right, guys, I'm going to leave it there. I just wanted to do this extra reading because I felt I had to, but I did also want to put in a call to action. Um, I just, I felt universe, just universe basically just said, ask for your whole family to pray for, for these people. Because, 
I mean, hey, if you can't help people directly, help them indirectly by praying for them, sending them the good energy, giving them the best wishes, giving them abundance, giving them all that universe has to offer. Not that you don't deserve it either, but when you give, you receive. And prayer is a beautiful way to give of energy straight from universe into the arms, into the hands of another who truly deserve it. Okay. All right, everyone. I wish you the best. Much light, much love, and many blessings. Namaste.